Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. This time out, an amazingly versatile new tube amplifier from Peavy. Let's get started. If you're looking for a single amplifier that can cover a ton of different tones and a ton of different genres, then you definitely want to check out the amplifier we're looking at today, the Invective 120 from Peavy. The Invective was designed in collaboration with Misha Mansour from Periphery, and that would lead you to believe that this amplifier is great for metal applications, and certainly it sounds great with metal tones. High gain, metal clean tones, all those sorts of things are incredible through this amplifier. But Misha was actually looking for a super versatile amplifier that could cover every style and every type of tone, and the Invective 120 really delivers. What we have here is an all-tube amplifier with three channels. We have a clean channel, a crunch channel, and a lead channel. The amplifier has 120 watts of output power, and you can switch that down to 60 watts with a switch on the back. In addition to that, we also have two separate booths, one for the clean and one for the two dirty channels. And we also have a master boost that kicks up the volume when you want to play a solo. On the front panel, beginning at the input jack, we have the boost for the clean channel first. It has drive and tone controls. Next up we have the five controls for setting up the clean channel. We have a pre-control which is your gain for the input, and this channel is actually set up to have an incredible amount of headroom. You really have to push it hard to get it to break up. We have a three band EQ and a post control that sets the volume level for that channel. Next up we have a push button switch that allows you to cycle through the three channels on the amplifier from the front panel. You can also do that from the foot switch which we'll check out in just a little bit. The Invective 120 also has a built-in noise gate on its input, and that will silence any hum that's coming from your guitar or pedals that you have going into the amplifier. Next up we have the boost for channels 2 and 3. Again, we have a drive control and a tone control for that boost. Channels 2 and 3 share EQ controls, but they have separate pre or gain controls and post or volume controls. We have master presence and resonance controls, and finally a master volume control. And as I mentioned, there's also a master boost control that's on the back panel. If that was all the control that was available on the Invective 120, we'd have a very versatile amplifier. But when we shift around to the back panel, things get even more interesting. As I mentioned, you can switch down to half power, which gives you 60 watts of output power. We also have PV's MSDI speaker emulated output, and that was designed in conjunction with Joe Satriani. It has both tone and level controls, so you could feed that direct into a console for recording or for live use. One of the interesting things about the Invective 120 is it actually has two effects loops. This allows you to have two effects back at your amplifier, and in fact there are 9 volt power outputs, so you can actually power those effects from right here on the amplifier as well. I've got a delay in loop 1, and I've got a reverb in loop 2, and you can switch those loops on and off independently using the foot switch. Next up we have a MIDI out jack, and this allows you to control effects such as our DD500. You could change presets, for example, inside that DD500 from right here on the amplifier. And finally we have a jack for connecting the foot switch. The foot controller is very powerful. We can store nine presets inside the amplifier and instantly recall those using the foot switch. All the settings are saved. Or you can use the amplifier in manual mode, individually switching off the channels, turning the effects loop on and off, and also accessing the boost and the noise gate from right there on the foot pedal. 
When you combine all those features together, it's clear that the Invective 120 is one of the most versatile amplifiers on the market today, but it's also one of the most toneful, and you can cover a wide range of different sounds. Let's check some of the tones out. Today we're playing the Invective 120 head through the matching Invective 2x12 cabinet. The 2x12 cabinet is made from solid pine, uses finger jointed construction, and it features both a Celestian Vintage 30 and a Celestian Creamback speaker. You can run those in mono as we are here, in which case the same signal goes out of both speakers, or you can actually split the cabinet so you can run in stereo or run a wet dry mix through the one cabinet. We'll begin with the clean channel. As I mentioned, it's extremely high headroom, so you can hit that really hard and still maintain pristine, crystal clear tones. Don Carr is going to show us some of the sounds using his PRS 513. When we switch to channel 2, we move into crunch or higher gain territory. This is great for rhythm sounds, but it's also going to make for a great lead tone when you're playing blues or classic rock styles. Now let's check out the high gain tones that are available from channel 3. We have a ton of gain on tap here, but whether you're playing metal sounds or you just want a more singing liquid lead tone, you can get it out of channel 3. I was really excited by the Invective 120 when I saw it at Winter NAM in Anaheim this winter. And now that I've had a chance to actually get my hands and my ears on it, I'm even more impressed. This amplifier covers an incredible range of tones and it's so versatile as far as control capabilities go, you really want to check this amp out. It could be the hub of your entire rig. Thanks to Don Carr for providing those great playing examples, and thank you for joining me for Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. Be sure to tune in next time, we'll have more guitars, more amps, more effects, and we'll be making lots of music. I'm Mitch Gallagher.